Hello guys, welcome once more. My name is Frank. I want to thank you because you're watching this video and I want to thank you because you've been watching all of our videos in our YouTube channel. In this occasion, what we want to show you is a product that we've been using for the past few weeks and that is a product that we have fallen in love with. The reason for it is because it has simplified the, the way we work and that is the Aurora Luma 1000. This is an LED light produced and built by a company in Korea called Aurora Lighting. This light fixture outputs about 1000 watts of incandescent light. The reason that I said that we have fallen in love with this light is because it has simplified the way we work. Most of the time we work with daylight and we were using those old Ari uh, Tosteno lights, so now we have this light. Let's take a look at all of the features that this light includes. Okay, now taking a look at the unit here, as you see it's a very small unit. It weighs only about 1.7 kilograms of about 3 pounds. We like that because it's very lightweight, so you can put it, you don't have to be using heavyweight light stand, you can use those lightweight light stand to use it. The reason for it is because the unit is just the light and the internal components. On the side here, what we can see is that we have a small fan, but that fan doesn't give you any problem with light. I've been shooting with it product shot of about only 10 inches, I never hear the fan. So on the other side, here, we see also a place for the heat to be dissipated. Now, in the front, this unit is, it comes with a bounce mount or the S mount. In this side, what you have is the security pin. You release it, turn it, and now you can see the front. The main difference of this light with other lights on the market is that this light doesn't allow you to see directly to the LED dial. Basically what they did is that they put this soft material in here, as you can see, and it's gonna, this is gonna help you to get a very even and soft light. The dial is, and the LED light is inside, but when it comes through this part, it diffuses the light. In the back, very simple. We got the, the name here, the Luma 1000. We got the knob for the uh, dimmer, and we got the on and off switch. Here on this side, also, we're gonna be able to see this material in between the front and the back and the whole body of the unit. And this is to help dissipate the heat as well. You can be using it for hours as we have done it and you can touch it and you're never gonna get burned. That's a really nice thing because a lot of times you're working with talents and they start getting hot and you have to stop to fix makeup and to fix hair and all of that. So that adds a lot of uh, practicality by just to use these lights. In the top here, as you can see, it's a nice handle. It's very robust, very easy. Also, it got a good size to it. I got a big hands, and this handle allows you to manipulate the light because the light is so lightweight. You can use it even handheld. We have some occasion where we put on a light stand, we put on a dolly, and we start moving along with the tab. Continuing with the features that we love about this uh, light feature is something that you wouldn't expect of a light with this uh, power of this output and that is that as you see here you only got this cable but this cable doesn't go nowhere and the reason because it doesn't go nowhere is because here we got the battery yes this is a, a battery power light 1000 watt equivalent from a battery why? Because it makes your life simple. When we saw this and we started using it, we were kind of uh, skeptical because we said, well, it's going to last 15, 20 minutes. And that's okay, but you have to have an arsenal or battery or maybe a generator if you are using it outside. Well, not in this case. This battery gives you about 1.2 hours, 1 hour and 20 minutes a full power. It gives you roughly two and a half hours, 50% of the power. And if you use it at a quarter of the power, it's gonna give you three and a half, almost four hours. The cable that comes here from the light goes into the battery. The battery comes with this really nice cage, which allows you for you to hang it from the light stand. And the battery, it's not that big, it looks kind of like a small uh, power generator, but also it's very well constructed. 
is 100% aluminum all, all around. It's very well constructed. We already dropped this, uh, one of these batteries and I was like, oh my God, now it's not gonna work, but it works perfectly. Now, this battery comes with an adapter that you just plug it in here and that adapter you plug it in the wall to charge it. A full charge, it takes about four hours. But for four hours and it gives you full power, one and a half, uh, 1.2 hours, that's basically a three to one ratio, which is really good. This is the adapter that goes into the wall. This part is the one that goes into the battery, okay? You make magic here, you put this part here, then when you connect this to the wall, you're gonna have three lights. Here on the main unit, as you see, is green because it's charged. And then if it is red, it's because it's charged. And if it is blinking red, it tells you that there is a error, either with the power or with the unit or with the battery. Now, it takes about four hours for this battery to be charged, for the battery to be charged. After you charge it, as I say, you're gonna get about 1.2 hours of usage with this battery. Okay, now we saw the general specification of the light. 1000 watt equivalent of soft light on daylight. Also, we have a battery that is gonna give you about an hour and 20 minutes of use on full power, up to three and a half hour and quarter power. Also, very lightweight, fun, no noise at all. What else can we ask? Well, basically, let us show you how this light works. You got the light, you got the on power. As soon as you turn it on, you're gonna be able to see the status of your battery. You're gonna be able to see three points in here, and this is the dimmer. Okay, the dimmer goes all the way from 15% of the light output all the way to 100%. You can go gradually and you can go to full power. Let me dim this down again because it's way too much power. You can run this for hours and it's not gonna get hot. Now, the light comes with different accessories that you're gonna be able to use as soon as you receive it. Like the battery, the battery case or the little pouch, also the cables, all of the connectors that you need, but also they give you a seven inch adapter or reflector. Let me show it to you. Okay, now here's the reflector. This is a regular S-mount or Bowen's uh, adapter. Let me turn this down, let me turn it off. And what you do is you just, just match these holes with the pins and half turn, let me lose this. There you go, it's already secure. This is the accessory that comes a standard with the light. You can get about 150 different options of accessories from soft boxes to reflectors to barn doors to gels. Now, let me show you the barn doors. This is the barn doors kit. This is an accessory that we got with the light. And the reason for it because it helps a lot in cutting the light. You put that here, okay? The barnos come this way. It's a regular barnor with four flags. Everything is metal, nothing is plastic in here. And in the back here, you can see the two hinges that you can use to hang it from the light and the security knob on the bottom. So basically, let me turn this around so slightly, put it in there. And now you just tie the screw on the bottom and your barn door is secure. Now you've got a barn door system here that you can use for you to modify your light and to cut it. Okay, continuing here guys, I wanna show you another accessory that we got from Aurora Lights. And this is something that is already, uh, you, you're seeing it, even though you don't see it really, but it's illuminating me. And that is a softbox, actually an octagon. The reason we went, we went for it is because we wanted to use even a softer light sometimes. And that is what we're using is the Firefly XL. This is an equipment that comes in different sizes, basically two sizes, one 90 centimeter, which is what we're using, and 120 centimeter. This is a really nice option. It gives you the option to use it as a beauty dish and also as a very, very soft uh, uh, modified 
And what we're doing here, we want to show you how this comes. This is the, the, the box that it comes in. As you see here, you got two diffusers, one internal and one external. Every one of those diffusers is going to take away one stop of light, but it's going to diffuse the light even more. So, what I really love about this, with this, it comes in this little bag. It's not flat, but you're going to see why. Okay, very easy to open. Let me take it away from here. You take it out. And now what you have here is kind of like an umbrella, but with the S mount. So basically it's compatible with your light fixture. And the nice thing about this is that when you put it in, let me do this example here, it's already there. You start opening, let me throw this back a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna take all of the fabric away. But I wanna show you how this is done. You just basically open it, it works like a umbrella. I want to show you this here. This is really cool. It saves you a lot of time. You just put it in, and that's it. You got this. Let me move this back a little bit more so you can see it completely. Now, the light is in here, okay? Now you can put another disc in here that is going to allow you to use this as a giant uh, beauty dish. But why I love it so much is because quality, construction, build, whatever you want to call it, it's first class, it's really, really good. This. Now, this is the internal diffuser. If I turn this on, you automatically are gonna see, we don't have any hard uh, points inside, any spot, hard spot for the light. If you use it like this, you're gonna get a very soft light on the center, but you're gonna get kind of like a harder light on the outside. If I, let me turn this down a little bit more, then, the second fabric, which is this one, you're going to put it around. Now, this part here gives you two inches of a space, so you can put this fabric and then you can put another accessory with Velcro if you need to. Now we got a very soft diffuser. I'm going to turn this on. And as you see, I can go all the way up. I know I'm burning your eyes here, or all the way down. Really easy to use. I'm gonna turn it to the side. Here you have zipper. So when you wanted to take it away, you just put your hands through it and you can close it. Or if you don't want to take the fabric, you just start it on opening this way. Okay, this is the Firefly Firefly XL 90 centimeter. There is also a 120 centimeter option. We love this, it's really good, it helps us a lot. I mean, if you get a kit with this of about three lights, three modifier, three banners, you're gonna have all of the lighting that you need. 1,000 watt equivalent on a soft light, it, it's daylight also. With the gel kits, you can convert it to a 2,000 or to any other color. Now we have seen all of the features that this light features offers. Now what we're gonna do is do a little example of how to use it with a three-point lighting. We're gonna get one of our system here in the studio, we're gonna set her down, and we're gonna show you how this light works, how you can modify it for the hair light, and how you, what, what can you expect from this light. Stay tuned. So now we are here in the studio with Karen. She's our assistant here. And very quickly, I'm gonna start turning off the hair light and then the key light. Uh, both of these lights are the Luma 1000 light, one using the Firefly XL 90 centimeter, and the second one is using the Bandor's kit. As you see here, when I turn off the key light and also the hair light, and I turn off all of the studio lights, we're in completely darkness. Now, when I turn on 
the key light only. As you see, it's a very wraparound lighting with very soft shadow. Let me adjust a little bit the angle of the reflector to catch more light into the her opposite side of her face. But as you see, I'm still missing some kind of separation from the background. So let me turn on the, key, the hair light again. And as you see, it makes a big difference. Because I'm using the barn doors, I'm able to adjust the light to hit specifically where I want. And also because the Luma 1000 is, it is a dimmable light, I'm able to modify and get the intensity that I need for this very simple shot. Okay, now that we've seen how you can use these lights in the studio, let's go outside and do a little example of how to use it with a real shooting uh, on a uh, environment where you don't have options for you to connect it to the electricity. We're gonna be using this exclusively with the, uh, with the power uh, option, with the battery option of the light. We're gonna go to a hotel, we're gonna do a little interview, and we're gonna show you a little bit of a behind the scene and how you can use it to create a three-point lighting and also a clamshell uh, kind of style light using these two soft boxes. Okay guys, now welcome here to the location where we were shooting today with Daniela. Daniela is a model here in Mexico and we were shooting at a boutique hotel here in downtown Merida. Uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm taking a little bit of time from the shooting to show you how you can use this light using only the batteries. We are not connected to the wall at all and uh, how you can use a three-point lighting, very simple. Uh, using only two of the light, two of the Luma 1000 light with the Firefly XL on them. And now what I wanna do is that I wanna turn off the hair light. As soon as you do that, you can see that there is no separation between uh, Daniela, which is the talent, and the background. Now let me turn off the key light. Okay, now we got a very dark image here. The only light that we have is coming from the sun. And this light is very dim because today is about 6.30 in the afternoon and it's a complete overcast day. Okay, now what I wanna do is that I wanna turn on the hair light. And automatically you can see the finish on her hair and also on her shoulder and on her arm. Getting this light on allows you to separate the talent from the background. Now let me turn on the key light. And as soon as I turn on the key light, we can see a perfect lead image. Now, this is a very simple example how you can use this. I am getting basically no shadows on the talent and that is because I'm using the uh, Firefly XL 90 centimeter with the two diffuser on the key light. Now, let me do another example. This is an example of using a technique called clamshell lighting. Basically, you are using only two lights, one on the top and one on the bottom, right in front of the talent, and that is gonna create a nice fashion style image. Here, what you see is that you get a good definition of face, basically no shadows. And I'm gonna show you how this is done. Let me take away the bottom light, and you see here how everything changed drastically. Now I'm gonna turn off the top light, and now we got a complete dark image. Okay, we got no definition at all. Now let me turn on again the top. As you see, we got illumination, but we got nothing interesting. Now let me turn on again the bottom light. And as I turn the light on, all of the shadow under her chin and any shadow on her face is going away. We're getting a good definition on the talent face and also her hair is coming alive because it's being lit. This is a very simple technique to be, uh, to be done, to be used, and it gives you really good results. With these soft boxes and this light, it's very easy to work because here 
we were not connected to any main power. We were using only the batteries that comes with the light. We were shooting on the roof on this hotel with Daniela and we, we wouldn't have the, the, a way for us to plug any power cord to anything over there because they were not available. But because we were using this light with the battery, it was very simple for us to do the main shot that we were supposed to be doing that day. Okay, now here I got Daniela uh, facing another way. Uh, basically, we are dark already. It's about 8, 8.15 at night. And as you can see, she's being led with only one light and one uh, firefly. I don't wanna use anything else because I wanna show you how this light works. Now, what I wanna show you is this is using the two diffusers on the Firefly XL. I wanna take that, the first one away so you can see the difference. Automatically, as I take the first diffuser out of the softbox of the Octagon, you can see that we are way overexposed of about one to 1.5 uh, stops. Now, let me take away the second diffuser And as you see now, we are really, really killing it with the light. I mean, it's way overexposed of about almost three stops. As you see here, we are burning everything around and I need to lower this by one, two, two and a half stop for me to be able to get kind of like a decent uh, exposure on her face. So now you see here that basically with the Firefly XL 90 centimeter, with the two diffuser, you're gonna be taking away about two to two and a half uh, stop of light. Using it with nothing, you're gonna be able to gain, if you take it away, about two and a half a stop. So this is a very practical softbox, a very good uh, tool to be used depending on your needs. Now we have seen how you can use this light on the studio, how you can use it on location. To me, these lights are excellent. I'm falling in love with them because it helps me a lot. Most of the time, I am one man man. I have to be taking care of so many things. And if I can use it uh, with battery, that saves me a lot of time because sometimes I have to run a cable from the wall or if I'm in location, I have to find a generator with this light that I don't need to worry about that. What I'm going to be doing is purchasing a couple of more batteries so I have more redundancy on the battery design. Now, wrapping it up, quality, build, material and design, excellent. To me, there is no other better light on the market than this light on this segment. The style that they use is very compact, I love it. Lightweight, 1.7 kilos, about 3 pounds, something like that. Okay, that is excellent. Simplicity of use, awesome. Only two buttons in here, the knob, and the on and on switch, that helps you a lot. Diffuse light, love it, because for most interviews, you want something soft that you can uh, wrap around your subject. If you put the soft box, you're gonna get even a softer light, but without anything, you can use this light for a really nice interview. Color rendition 97 of CRI, that's amazing. Some of the light that we purchased out there for a few hundred bucks, I mean, let's say about over a thousand dollars, Per head, they don't give you not even 90, 95. This is giving you 97. Construction bill, as I say, excellent. Now, customer service from the company, I give it a 100 out of 100. These people are amazing. Quality of everything that they build, like the softbox, the reflectors and everything, top notch. So, I recommend you that you take a look at Aurora Lighting at www.auroralightbanks.com and find out more about the Luma. <laughs>